Good morning guys, what's going on? Today what I want to talk about is I'm going to launch my boat and it is, I think when I got up this morning it was 16 degrees and so that's what I want to talk about today, launching your boat in cold weather conditions and how to be better prepared with your gear because this is the time of year guys blow motors up because they're not doing the right steps in the morning to warm their gear up properly. So I'm going to walk you through all the steps that I do from everything on the boat to putting it on the water and making sure your motor is good and safe to go. So stick around, you guys are not going to want to miss this video. So right off the bat, when it is cold like this, if you're continually taking your gear out, what I like to do first, and I forgot to do it this morning, as I'll show you, is I forgot to put my plug in. And you can see there's already water droplets frozen there. So you can see it's gonna be a pain trying to get my plug in. And you can see I can't even get it in all the way. And so that's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to play with and I'll probably end up fighting with all day. But so when you're leaving, put the plug in before you head out. Now the next thing that I wanna talk about is get to the ramp early if you can. If it's cold out, what I like to do first is I like to be the first guy at the ramp because the more people that go in and out with their boat trailers, if it's really cold in the morning, it'll put water on the ramp that'll then freeze. And so if it's freezing water on the ramp, then it gets slippery. And if you happen to be in that situation and you know you're not gonna be the first guy there or it's a tournament morning or something like that, make sure to carry some cinders in your truck or a bag of salt because that will save you a lot of headaches when you're getting there because we see it every year, somebody's boat and trailer ends up in the water because the ramp was icy or their truck slips out of gear or something like that. But it's something that you should be prepared for when you get to the lake. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhook the straps, but I'm going to leave the front strap hooked up. So I will undo the back straps, but I'm going to leave this front strap hooked up because if you go on the water this time of year fairly frequently, your bunks will freeze. And so if your bunks freeze, it makes them super, super, super slippery, like incredibly slippery. And so I will undo the back straps, but leave the front of the boat hooked up until I back it in the water and see that boat just lift off the trailer. Just as soon as it starts to lift up, that's when I will put the truck in park, put my emergency brake on, go back and unhook the boat because I've seen it before where guys unhook it early. And as soon as that boat gets on that downward slope of that ramp, it slides right off of there and onto the concrete and the real kicker is the only way to get the boat in the water is you have to manually push it into the water and so that's going to do a lot of damage especially if you have a fiberglass boat so we don't want that to be used so leave that front hooked up until you get the boat in the water but right now what i'm going to go do is i'm going to unhook the straps in the back take my graph covers off and everything and just go through my typical routine maintenance leaving the front of the boat hooked up so i will get back with you guys as soon as i get the boat in the water so one thing i want you to notice before i put this in the water is how tough that is to spin and so your lower unit when you're driving to the ramp in these cold conditions if there's a little bit of residual water in there or even if there's not that gear case is going to be cold and so when i put this boat in the water i am not going to fire my motor up right away and i will get into that here in a second all right so we are currently backing the boat in i don't know how well you guys can see this i'll get you right up in the rear view mirror there so you can see we're backing it in i left the front hooked up so we're gonna back that in just until that trailer or that boat starts to lift off the trailer. So right about there, just lift it up. So I'm gonna put my brake on, I'm gonna put my e-brake on. And one, what I noticed was you can see somebody else had backed in on this side and so I picked this side of the trailer of the ramp. So that way I wasn't going to be going over any ice or anything like that. So now what I can do, and if you did it right, when I leave it off, you can see it starts to slide right off of there. And so that's how you know you did it right when you unhook it. And then when you get on, generally it like slides right off or sometimes you have to give it like a little bit of a push but then it just falls right down. And so if you remember what I talked about was I don't want to, I'm gonna get this way so that way the sun's not in your guys' face. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim my motor down so that that lower unit is sitting in the water 
just like so because I want that lower unit to warm up it's been cold you know I, I just don't want to cold start it right off the get-go because what will happen is it puts a lot of pressure on the gears and everything that's inside of there and so what I'll do is I'll literally just back up let my boat drift off and use my trolling motor to bring myself over to the ramp and then I'll either tie off or I will put my poles down something along those lines so that way when I go park the truck that motor can just sit there and soak up that nice 45 50 degree water and let it be a lot warmer than it was when it was driving in 16 degree weather with the wind chill or without the wind chill so next I'm going to show you through how to warm it up all right so I've had the motor sitting in the water for a little bit of time the next thing I'm going to do is start it but not put it in gear that's super super important because I want to let the entire motor warm up and so I'm going to just That's all I'm gonna do. Start it, make sure it's peeing, make sure water's coming out that back port good. And I'm gonna start it, and then I'm gonna walk up to my truck and go put my truck in the parking lot and park it and let that motor warm up. Because I wanna make sure everything in that motor is good and ready to go. And this is how cold it is out. Like you can literally see if I were to just like, I love, Oh, I'm not gonna be able to put the E, I was gonna write I love fishing. But yeah, we're gonna let that baby warm up and I'm gonna go park the truck. All right, so we've had the motor warming up for a few minutes now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up my power poles. And this is kind of the biggest key for this entire thing is I'm just gonna put it in reverse. Whether it was reverse or drive, whichever way you had it. That's all I'm gonna do for the next few minutes. I'm not gonna be in any kind of hurry when it comes to moving this boat because I want to let all that lower unit fluid get warmed up let the gears get warmed up and so don't just drop it in the water and gun it that is how people break a lot of things and that's gonna be what I do for you know a few hundred yards I'm just gonna put it in gear and just idle so that way I'm not putting any kind of added pressure on anything I'm letting everything just slowly and smoothly warm up the right way. And so that's going to be what I do for the remainder of, you know, like a no wake or just a couple hundred yards out of here. And then the next thing is, if when I'm driving from spot to spot, don't ever be in a hurry. Don't ever try to max your RPMs out or anything like that. You know, if it's a tournament day, I get it, you know, push it a little bit. But I like to go just around, you know, like 35, 40 miles an hour. I'm not trying to push it it's cold out the air on me hurts as well as the motor so just take it nice and easy on these cold days and it will save your motor a lot of wear and tear in the long run so thank you guys so much for watching be sure to hit that subscribe button for more information but god bless and i'll see you guys in the next video